Now let's say I wanted to use this for performance control, because after all, we have a voltage controlled rate here. The way many LFOs are set up is that the front panel knob is added to the incoming CV. That's not how this LFO works. The external plus or minus 5 volt range is shifted internally to 0 to 10 volts, and then this knob acts as an attenuator on that shifted range. That means you might need to do a little bit of massaging of the control voltage to get it to do what you expect. For example, if I wanted to use the mod wheel, or maybe even aftertouch, for my keyboard to control the LFO rate, let's go with the mod wheel. I see this number five over here. Patch that into the CV rate. Hold a note. You hear now the LFO is going more slowly than it was before, because the mod wheel is down, going through this attenuator. And then maximum speed. So if I want a wider swing, I need to turn up the rate control. And if I want a smaller swing of LFO rate, I turn it down. Now remember, in this module, the rate control scales the CV after it's been shifted up plus 5 volts. So when the mod wheel is at 0 volts, this module boosts it up to plus 5 volts, and then the rate control scales it back down to a lower initial level. So what I would normally do in a situation like this is I would go ahead and patch my mod wheel to an external utility mixer where I have an attenuator and also a bias output voltage, and take that into the CV input. So I could go ahead and adjust what range I want. My maximum change in LFO speed. And then add a bias offset to decide what I want my initial speed to be. And then the mod wheel adds to that. And I could do the same thing with aftertouch. Aftertouch is CV4 over here. So a normal note. This is slow speed. After touch. Adds more speed to the LFO. Now there's one more LFO trick you should know, and that is feedback. And this is a trick I learned from DivKid in playing around with this Oct 8 channel LFO that he designed with Instro. If you take another one of the outputs and feed it into the CV input, you can change the wave shapes a little bit. Let's go ahead and go back to normal, even, pointy wave. Just a fast triangle there. Then let's go ahead and take our CV input from the round output and run that through our utility mixer back into the CV rate. Let's go ahead and add some positive voltage so we have a nice initial rate here. There we go. And now you see that we have this additional dip added through feedback because the round output is speeding up and slowing down the LFO, which is affecting the wave shape from our pointy output. I can change the depth of that, decide just how much effect that feedback has and how much it bends the shape of our LFO output. We can almost get it to stall there when I put in too much amount. You can use the round output, you can use the square output. And because of its phase relationship with the pointy, we now see that it's speeding up for the upward portion of the triangle, slowing it down for the downward portion of the triangle wave. So that's a good patching trick in general with devices like LFOs. There's a little bit of a feedback path just to change the wave shape. And again, Utility Mixer will help you massage those CVs to get the results you want.